Division of Integers Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to divide integers whether they are positive or negative. Let us begin. First, let's have a quick recap on the parts of division. The first number, or the number that is being divided, is called dividend, while the second number, or the number that divides the dividend, is the divisor. And our answer is what we call the quotient. Now that you already know the parts of division, you are ready for our lesson. Let's have our first example. Let us divide 6 by 2. I know that you already know the answer to this. 6 divided by 2 is 3. As you can see, we are dividing two positive integers. Now let us try to solve this using some counters. We have here the dividend positive 6. So let us put 6 positives. There you go. And we need to divide it into 2. Now, as you can see, there are 3 positives in each group. Therefore, our answer is positive 3. As you can observe, when we are dividing two positive integers, the answer is positive. Now let's try another one. Let us try 2 divided by 2. Since they are both positive, we just simply divide them and then our answer must be positive. So 2 divided by 2 is positive 1. Now let us check our answer using our counters. We have 2 positives and we need to divide this into 2 equal groups. So we have, there you go. Now as you can see, we have 1 positive in each group. So our answer is positive 1. And we are correct. Now let's try a different one. This time, let us divide negative 4 by negative 2. As you can see, this time we are trying to divide two negative integers. Now let us try to solve this using some counters. Here, our dividend is negative 4. So let us put 4 negatives. There you go. And we need to divide this by negative 2. So let us divide them into two equal groups. There you go. Now, we need to remember that if our divisor is a negative integer, we need to flip our counters and get its opposite. There. Now, as you can see, there are two positives in one group. So our answer is positive 2. This means that negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. Good job! As you can see, when we are dividing two negative integers, our answer will always be a positive integer. Now let's try another example. Let us divide negative 4 by negative 1. Again, as I said earlier, when we are dividing two negative integers, we simply divide them and the answer will be positive. So let us try. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. Now let us check our answer using our counters. So here our dividend is negative 4. So let us put 4 negatives. There you go. And we need to divide this into one group. There! As you can see, our divisor is a negative integer. 
This means that we need to flip over a counters and get its opposite, which is positives. Therefore, our answer is positive 4. Wonderful! As we can notice, when we are dividing two integers with the same sign, either they are both negative or both positive, the answer is always a positive integer. Now let us try this one. This time, we are going to solve without using any counters. So our first example is negative 18 divided by negative 3. Again, let us remember that when we are dividing integers with the same sign, the answer is a positive integer. Here, we are dividing both negatives. Therefore, our answer will be positive. So negative 18 divided by negative 3 is very good, it's positive 6. Now let's try another one. We have here negative 20 divided by negative 4. Since they are both negatives and they have the same sign, our answer must be positive. Therefore, negative 20 divided by negative 4 is correct. It's positive 5. Next one, we have positive 8 divided by positive 2. Since they are both positive integers, these means our answer must be positive. So 8 divided by 2 is positive 4. And last one, we have positive 14 divided by positive 7. What is your answer? Great job! It's positive 2. Awesome! Now let's try a different one. This time, we are going to divide different sign. Let us try 2. Positive 2 divided by negative 2. So let us try to answer this first using our counters. Our dividend here is positive 2. So let us put two positives there. And we need to divide this into two equal groups. Here. As you can see, our divisor is a negative integer. This means that we need to flip over our counters and get its opposite. There you go. Now as you can see, there is one negative in each group. Therefore, our answer is negative 1. This means that positive 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. As you can notice, when we are dividing two integers with different sign, the answer is a negative integer. Now let's go to another example. This time, we are going to try to divide without using any counters. Our first example is positive 27 divided by negative 3. Again, you have to remember that when we are dividing two integers with different sign, the answer is a negative integer. Therefore, 27 divided by negative 3 is 9. And since they have different sign, let us put the negative sign. Our answer is negative 9. Next example, we have here negative 12 divided by 4. So let us divide first the numbers. 12 divided by 4 is... Very good, it's 3. And since they have different sign, the answer must be negative. Next one, we have negative 28 divided by positive 7. Good job! It's 4. And since they have different sign, the answer is negative. Lastly, we have here negative 34 divided by positive 17. What is your answer? Wow! You are correct! It is negative 2. 
Wonderful! Great job students, you made it! Now here are the things that you learned today.